Hello guys, today I will be covering one of the ISTQB foundation level questions that is frequently asked in the exams and I have given a, a proper solution as to how to approach such kind of questions. So say uh, uh, the one question that you are seeing on screen, it reads given the following code which is true about the minimum number of test cases required for full statement and branch coverage. Now this is asking about the statement and branch coverage. So the program is as read P, read Q, if P plus Q greater than 100 then print large, end if. If P greater than 50 then print P large, end if. And the options given are as shown here. So the correct option is option B and please refer to the following diagram which gives the explanation. So this is the diagram that has been created uh, in order to solve this question. I will just minimize uh, this becomes. Yeah. Uh, so I have created a flow chart from the question from the program and I have listed down the paths. Uh, I, have no, uh, I have named the paths that are being followed. So uh, if you can see uh, there are uh, many paths in this program and for statement coverage find out the shortest number of paths following which all nodes will be covered. Here by traversing through path 1A, 2C, 3D, E, 4G, 5H. all the nodes are covered so by traveling through only one path all the nodes 1 2 3 4 5 are covered branch coverage to calculate branch coverage find out the minimum number of paths which will ensure covering all of the edges in this case there is no single path which will ensure coverage of all the edges at one go by following paths 1a 2c 3d e 4g 5h Maximum number of edges A, C, D, E, G and H are covered but edges B and F are left. To cover these edges we can follow 1A, 2B, E, 4F. By the combining the above paths, above two paths, we can ensure of travelling through all the paths. Hence branch coverage is 2. The aim is to cover all possible true false decisions. Path coverage comes next. Path coverage ensures covering of all the paths from start to end. All possible paths are listed below. 1A, 2B, E, 4F, 1A, 2B, E, 4G, 5H, 1A, 2C, 3D, E, 4G, 5H, 1A, 2C, 3D, E, 4F. So path coverage is 4. Thus for the following example SC equal to 1, BC equal to 2 and PC equal to 4. Let's have a look at the diagram that has been created once again. Here there is a sm uh, small thing to be considered the F and T that are shown that that is for the true or false and F that is shown below here that is for the path F this F is for false this F is for true similarly this F is for false and this F this true this T is for true and rest of those are numbers names so that's all. So this is the way you can solve these questions. Thank you.